What is going on everyone? My name is Boyd and I am back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action spawning the left side of the map in the blue color, playing as a set. His name is Magya. For those of you uh, who are unaware of who this, who this is, he's also known as Vizacharchi. He plays uh, professional League of Legends and by most is considered the greatest of all time. Uh, in the Age of Mythology is kind of the Michael Jordan of Age of Mythology, the Titans. Uh, and we are back in 2012 here. He's opponent today in the red color, playing as Zeus. He's from the Arf clan, if you don't remember who they are. very I think it was a French clan back in the day. Very cool. Uh, his name is Adafang. The map is a Watering Hole. And you know what? We were looking for some recorded games uh, from the Vubly Top players for today. And... Unfortunately, not too many games were played over the weekend, which is a little bit unfortunate. I think with all of the chaos going around, everyone will be indoors playing Age of Mythology, but couldn't really find too many top player games. So we're going back in time, and we're going to be uh, we're going to be watching some of these older games. If you've got any of those older games that you would like me to cast, do send me messages about those. If you think that you found a really quality recorded game with some some nice play from back in the day, I'd love to see those. Uh, but back to this game, this is patch 1.03 for the Titans, so lots of things different here. For example, Bolt uh, gives its full power back. It can, um, it can bolt uh, basically anything. It can bolt Ulfsark, it can bolt villages. I don't think you can kill citizens. Um, it can kill Sarmasaris, Nidhogg in one shot. Uh, and very, very strong. Centaurs get their full power back. They can two-hit uh, villagers with their special ability. Um, Shifting Sands gets its full power back. You can Shifting Sands three villagers. Uh, a ridiculous amount of army as well. Some very cool things there. Basically, 1.03, everything was overpowered. So it was all about who could abuse... Uh, the most overpowered thing the best uh, and it did it did basically mean there were four or five top tier gods and everything below really struggled as opposed to today where we've kind of got um, quite a few top tier gods maybe uh, or at least most gods can compete with each other because some of those completely crazy or crazily overtuned god powers and uh, and strats have been kind of tuned down a little bit to to deal with some stuff here. Um, and and also the other thing we have to realize is back in two thousand and twelve, uh, the meta was not completely. Um, it, it wasn't it wasn't completely set in stone what was the best way to play the game and and. Uh, and there was lots of different strats that we probably wouldn't see today and probably wouldn't work against the current metagame um, because of how how we understand the game to be played. So we're probably going to see some interesting stuff in these games in the series. Not exactly sure what best of this was, but we have five or six games to watch. So we'll see uh, we'll see what they what they've got going for them here. Um, <coughs> we do have Ad Fang with. A bizarre build. He's got four villages on wood, two villages, three villages on gold. A little bit late. A bit of a late temple as well. And we got uh, our our uh, set player going through tar already. Looking for a 430 here. Quite a few villages on gold. Maybe looking to go for a fast second town center, but not sure that was quite the strat back in the day. I think he'll uh, I think he'll try and shift some villages and get some early kills on those. Uh, definitely has the lion set up to do so, uh, and it's converting some elephant and the like. Pharaoh moving forward, looking for something to do. Very strong unit. This pharaoh uh, it jumps from three point six damage up to like fourteen or fifteen when you hit the uh, classical edge. So can uh, really destroy stuff if you if you want. And uh, luckily for Adafang, he's got some nice uh, nice hunt in his base. He's got the uh, 
the lion over here that he can eat. He's got the uh, the hippo over here with more lion Ooh. there. And so he should be okay to deal with this, but for everything's going to be moving in. We do see shifting stands does come down, grabs a couple of, no, it doesn't grab any peaks, but Wadget, Animals, going to pick off these villagers. That's three early kills for the set player for Magyar. So it's already up three villas on Adafang. And Adafang is going through Hermes now. And now we've got the Priest Pharaoh Elephant coming in. This is looking like games of old, but Bolt comes down onto the Pharaoh, and that's going to slow down this pressure so much. And uh, very, very good. And here we go. The villager gets into the temple. And these villagers, they want to pick off this elephant. Back in, uh, well, even recently, the nerf's only been recent, but this elephant here gives you, I think it's 700 or 562 foods. It's quite a, a lot. And Adafang's just going to be trying to pick those off. And he's kind of managed to deal with this aggression here. And Adafang should be getting out Odysseus straight away. That's all you need. You just need Odysseus out. I was going to get Jason first, but he's going to get Odysseus out and Jason out. And then this pressure is going to be over. He does have a gold mine over here. He can move to if he so chooses. The centaur gets pulled away. Does not want to lose that to the priests. The priests very slowly, but surely going to pick off this villager. So you do have to market that one away. And Adafang not using this Jason just yet as he's going for the second town center rush here. Got the Wadju in the back picking off this centaur here and still no Odysseus. It's going to be losing a villager here. That's four villager kills so far for Magia with this pressure and Magyar is just all over this but Adafang not reacting just gonna be sacrificing villages could cast ceasefire here but you do want to save that for the ancestors gonna lose another villager which is super unfortunate the elephant and all of the rest is gonna be coming into onto this location and preventing the town center from going up as Adafang has got the villagers in order to pick this one off not animation cancelling which is something you can do but then finally because of these villages does lose another villager over here and pulls the priest in gonna be losing a couple of these priests or at least one of these priests to town center fire and I think realizes he doesn't really need to get gold at this point does pick up the relic which is fetters of Fenrir which would have been really really nice early because it does affect the um the the elephant here and you can basically one hit all of these animals it's actually a real huge counter to this this aggressive set plan. Going to be losing a house as well. Adafang going to be moving back down to 22 or 25 pop. It's going to be fine because he gets the temple of the town center up, which is an extra 15 pop. There is the Odysseus out to help out with this. Lion gets picked off. Elephant's going to die as well. And Magyar is going to be looking like he's gone straight to the heroic age here. No second town center. The really fast heroic age with all of that aggression is, in, is crazy right now. And... Nepthi is just about to come through. Probably going to see him be super aggressive with this Migdol as well. Wouldn't be surprised to see him just throw it down in the middle of the map, move forward or something like that. Just because he's had so much um, so much map control and set Adafang so far behind. Adafang doesn't even have a stable up yet. And, and there's the stable. Villager, 250% or 250 villager pierce damage. Plus 250. Just like, think about that for a second. 250 villager damage. It's insane. <laughs> uh, it's like more damage than anything in the game. Uh, but maybe it doesn't one hit the elephants there. Maybe almost one hits them, two hits them, or something like that. Um, stables going down now. Adafang going to be spamming out those uh, those cavalry. The uh, seven going up for Magyar now. A little bit late. It's kind of odd that he would go for this town center after going for a fast heroic. You can get that one up in the classical age and then also go to the heroic age a little bit later, but Magyar is going to be doing that. I'm looking for a Migdol a little bit later. Going for a little bit of a boom behind this. Wants to catch up on the village account because Adafang's had the two town centers pumping and even though he's lost those villages, he's probably caught back up on the village production now. So that's very, very good right now. Some other villagers here, has some hippo over here he can eat, which he's gonna be doing very shortly. Now Magyar moving forward. Uh, he can put Migdols on either of these town centers here. They're, they're actually some of the, sometimes this map gives some really bizarre some really bizarre town centers but this one's actually one of the ones I prefer to see where it's very far to the top and very far to the bottom of the map in range of dot fire both of them are so both of them should be able to get hit by baluster or ship or seed ship um so that way you know you need to control this water and you need to control this water but it is slightly in favor of i think this is not in range 
In, this might be in range actually, so maybe this town center is a little bit less good for Magyar, but you like to see that it's it's probably in, it's probably in range. Um, you like to see that because you like to see those water uh, parts of the map being important in the game. We do see walls going up all up on the map for Adafan. We go in the middle of the map, going to be producing those chariot archers for Magyar. Going to be walking straight into a little bit of a. A little bit of a trap here. Yeah, Adafang's got quite a few of these cavalry. Jason and Odysseus out to bash down that Scorpion Man. The Scorpion Man tries to use his special, but he's going to be going down very, very fast. But he's going to be retreating him back. Does lose a cavalry there or, or two as Magyar is happy to fight this with the help of his Pharaoh doing a lot of damage. The Jason getting picked off by those chariot archers. These elephants doing quite a bit. Um, Adafang should just get a villager into his army and he could just pick off these, these um, elephants instantly just because he's got the feathers of Fenrir, but... He does pick those off. Jason is now, sorry, Odysseus is now picking off Raneb the second. Gonna be trying to take that guy down. He's going in the back, retreating away from there. And that's gonna be, that's gonna be that. But out of fact, losing quite a few units there. Magyar's micro off the chain, managing to make a chariot archer army able to beat the Hippocons. You pretty much need to get uh, medium cavalry before you want to engage chariot archers because well, look at the damages. 10 damage to 9.35. So it's about the same. I think Hippocon have a small bonus against archers, 25%. So it's kind of like 12 damage versus 9.35. But the chariot archers have more HP. Well, they don't have more HP, but they have range advantage. So they're shooting at the, the Hippocon before they get to them. So you're going to have to catch up on that. We do see a third town center now coming up for Magyar and he's controlling the map. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see Adafang just sit two town centers here and attempt to go straight to the Mythic Age off this um, two town center play. He's just about out of hunt though. He's got one more Hippotamus here and he's almost out of pigs. So it, it does make it a little bit challenging because you have to farm your way to the Mythic Age, which is definitely difficult. And yeah, I'm getting that third town center sitting at 101 population to my population of Adafang. has got a lot of food in the bank though. Um, chopping up the armory, gold villages, should be able to get this one. Uh, Adafang could stop building Hippocon here if he wanted to, you know, and, and just like make up the rest of his army with Centaur or something like that. But Adafang going to be looking for some raids, got to be super careful with this. You do not want to run into the army of Magyar or lose these Hippocons, especially because you do not have anything like a um, medium cavalry. And he is going to spot this town center going up, but he's going to be just a little bit too late to get on top of that as those villagers get the town center up. And there's the armory for Adafang. Magyar, on the other hand, still building those chariot archers, getting a fourth town center. So this is going to be a four town center rush here. Hippocon trying to get on top of these, these cavalry archers, these chariot archers, sorry, and he does manage to do that. He's going to be chucking the, the ancestors down, potentially going to be casting ceasefire. I would have liked him to try and pick off more of those, cha those chariot archers as he had the surround there instead of casting ceasefire and then cast ceasefire. Pick up as many of them as you can before you start losing units and then cast ceasefire because he had maybe two or three more seconds he could have had there on top of those chariot archers, which is probably three or four chariot kills before he loses a single Hippocon. Um, but he uses that ceasefire a little bit early as Adafang now going through Apollo here. So four town centers to two town centers. Set versus Zeus. Uh, this is definitely not a... A one game here for the set player. Uh, Adafang's gonna have Underworld and he's got a lot of villages on wood so he's gonna start transitioning into these farms pretty fast. Uh, he's got a lot of villages so he should be able to get Mythic Age here and this game is all gonna come down to can Adafang's Underworld and, um, and Hephaestus give him enough of an advantage to push uh, uh, Magyar off a of town center. Now, Magyar's going to be chasing, I think. He's on four towns, so he's going to be chasing the Heroic Age here. Oh, sorry, the Mythic Age. Um, so, we'll see if he can do it or not. If he can chase to the Mythic... But he's also said he's not like an Isis who has... Or, or a Ra who has access to some of Asaris, which is a good way to deal with um, the Mythic Age. Zeus, um, we just see there's finally medium Hippocons traffic off that. Scorpion Man still, like, Magyar's just healed this guy up so many times. Um, Priest on top of these centaurs is retreating away, picking off some straggler units over here. Doing a really nice job with those, uh, splitting them up. And Adafang, oh, he's looking like Magyar is actually closer to the Mythic Age than Adafang at this point, just simply because he's got access to the hunt all over the map. He's got um, eating those those uh, crowned cranes before he even 
get the 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 farms going and he's still got gazelle over here and there's, there's also a hippopotamus here you could eat if you so chose uh, and those Kippicon are running around. They're taking quite a bit of damage. I don't think there is no crenellations for Magyar. And we do see Adafang's market is up. And he's got... Maybe he can trade his way to the Mythic Age here. Let's see if he can do that. Checking up Archery Rangers as well. But we'll off this wall. The Chariot Archer's coming in trying to lay this as much as he can. Nice micro from Adafang. Going to be uh, trying to run that Hippicon away and dodging all that arrow fire. Let's pick up... Pick off that uh, wooden wall there. Very, very good. Very, very good indeed. And more archery rangers coming up. He could probably trade his way now. He's got, he's got enough gold and he just has to maybe cut a villager or something or a town bell. Uh, and he should be able to advance in. And here we go. Hephaestus should be coming through. There it is. And Magyar on the other hand. He's actually run out of the... Uh, the gold, he, he was in a really good position to advance here. He's chucking down temples everywhere because he knows he needs to get out a bunch of priests to counter the Colossus. Does he have access to funeral rites just yet? No funeral rites is up. Um, he is getting fortified town centers, and this is going to be very interesting to see if it works. This is going to be an all-in play. Seeing the dock coming up for Magyar as well. On both of these shores, he realizes this is a very, uh, a very bad town center uh, in terms of waters, so it needs to be prepared for that and everything else, and we'll see what happens here. No military academy up though. That does make it a little bit more difficult because you need the military academies to make Myrmidon in order to really destroy this set army. Uh, and so we'll see if he can do that. Now remember, we've got the three armories coming down, so maybe we're going to give Adafang a little bit more time to play with. Uh, Adafang going to be trying to prevent this Migdol up. You do want to kind of fight a little bit here uh, in order to pick off as many units as you can, make efficient trades. We'll just have moved forward. Migdol Stronghold going to up in the face of Adafang as he's trying to move forward. This Mandicorn needs to be focusing down these heavy chariots. And now we've got the cabinet coming in. This makes life even harder. This this cabinet, uh, I believe it does, uh, what does it do? It does six damage or 12 damage a shot. Sorry, not 12. It's three, it shows, it shoots three arrows. So, uh, so I can't do math. 18 damage a shot, but one, one arrow normally misses or hits something else. Um, but all the armor is coming up now for Adafang. He's going to want to get out. Iron upgrades incredibly fast. Now these upgrades are really cheap. Uh, if you look at the at, at the upgrades here, it's negative a 75% armory upgrade cost, which is very different to what it used to be. There is the uh, the plenty vault comes down, the colossus comes out, the army is large as all hell, and adafang has got quite a few resources in the bank right now, so it's going to attempt to defend against this. Making Peltast, oh, you hate to see Peltast, they're... Um, they, they're they're counter cavalry, they're counter chariot arch units, but they've only got 16 range, and chariot archers have 20 range, and they can basically one hit these peltas. The chariot archers one hit the peltas, so it's a really difficult thing to deal with here. As the siege towers moving in, taking down the stables, and Mag and Magda just putting on a, a crazy amount of pressure here. But Adafang is defending quite nice, and more stables coming down. And still not upgrading these armory. He needs to get on top of that as soon as he can. But I found actually sitting very low on the population. The Colossus here now has Priest and Pharaoh and still no funeral rites. But the Pharaoh does a lot of damage even without that funeral rites. And, and we're going to have to see if he can keep this Colossus alive for the time being. And now we've got the upgrades coming. You can see there's 38 food, 38 gold for the, uh, for the upgrades. Really cheap compared to what they are in the current balance patch. But now we've got the Siege Towers coming in, taking down this Watchtower. And Magyar just not letting up here. He's also going through Horus so he can cast the Tornado on this location and keep this pressure up. Even got the Axemen coming out, even though there are no military academies. Just preparing for Myrmidon because he realizes how strong they are. But Magyar yet again getting pushed back. But... The issue is going to be Horus here. Does he have? He does have fortified town centers, but he does not have masons or uh, architects. So this this tornado is probably going to kill a town center here, which is which is pretty big. These uh, Peltas are trying to micro in the middle of here, but they do have a little bit of a weird bug out, and you can see how weak they are. He had so many Peltas here, but they all died to the chariot archers, to the pharaohs, to everything else. But Bellerophon out right now. This guy, this guy is an absolute menace, jumping around doing some crazy stuff and making ooh, making mid medium padromus i'm not sure about that but maybe out of like short on gold or something definitely needs to be making out um 
making our cavalry like Hippocon, not the uh, not anything else, but the Colossus is now out. We start in the siege against this Amygdal stronghold. And now as the game goes on, we've got bronze upgrades. We're gonna start seeing the iron upgrades coming through soon. And that's compared to Magyar's upgrades, which are only copper shields, which is basically nothing. His units are paper right now. So if Adafang can get out heavy cavalry with pure Hippocon, he does not need these medium predominance. If he can get pure Hippocon out with iron upgrades, he should be able to just completely slice through this Magyar army and start pushing onto a, onto a town center or something. Now part of this issue is these cabinets here, but you're gonna be building docks up here and, and, and that should allow him to start making out those siege ships and, and start sieging onto this town center as well and making this maybe a three town center versus two town center situation. So we'll see if that uh, if that ends up happening. All the heroes are out, does not have Forge of Olympus, which is a little bit upsetting, but what can you do? And we're picking off everything else. The Avenger does die there as well. Tornado coming down to this location. Some idle infant, oh sorry, idle military on top of this one as he's taken down everything here. Villagers falling, uh, you hate to see that, but it's looking like the town center is probably gonna live here as the uh, the Prodromas are moving forward trying to distract and he does keep this one up for the time being but war barges are out now for Maga. You can actually get uh, the fully upgraded war barges as well uh, and we are trying to move in here. We've got Silver Colossus needs to get onto this um, onto this Migdal Stronghold at some point. But the Catapult are out and they can start sieging down this town center which, which Adafang is not repairing and this is going to be really difficult for him as they're so far away from this town center. 28 range. Let's pick off a farm there, maybe a misclick or something like that. But the town center is a really low HP. Now the catapult starts making his way over onto this fortified town center and he should be able to take it down. And it's looking like Adafang going to slowly but surely fall away from this one. Only 500 gold left on this gold mine and Adafang has got not much left in this situation. But does manage to pick off this location here. He's got a silver colossus on top of this fortified town center. But the mercenary do come out in order to deal with it. It's probably better to just build a priest out, out actually in order to, to take out the, uh, the, the the silver colossus, but that's uh, not what's happening here. More buildings getting picked off, but magkar has got champion axemen now, and he's starting to catch up on the armory upgrades, pushing completely through Adafang's army here. More guard towers coming up, and the gold colossus are out, starting to take down this, this guard tower. And, it's, it's not over just yet for Adafang. He's only on 100 population. He's not really able to produce too much stuff here. Trying to get this town center back. There is still two catapults in here. So trying to get this town center back up without picking off these catapults is going to be a really difficult situation. Medium Peltas still out, still trying to do the damage. They should be focusing down these chariot arches if they can. But, ooh, Bellerophon has come in. Now, Bellerophon can pick off these catapults really easily, and once he does, he should be able to get this town center back up, but more palace to tower out these Colossus and did end up getting picked off. And now Magyar's got even more catapult coming in as he's trying to push through with the Ballista Tower. This Bellerophon running around trying to distract and, and do what he can, but we've got we've even got Heavy Hippocon on top of these catapult now. So now that Heavy Hippocon are out, this is going to start becoming a little bit easier for Adafang's army to deal with this. And Bellerophon jumping and picking off these priests as he, as he can, but he needs to be using that special to pick off the catapult. And he's trying to do so as the catapult's moving forward, but does get an attack off onto this settlement and does a crazy amount of damage with that attack. Oh, two attacks! That's going to make, that's going to delay this even longer and Adafang really struggling. Another catapult coming in right now is able to slow this down even more. Bellerophon doing his damnness to get over there, but actually not really, he's running the wrong way at this point, but Ballista Tower. He's trying to pick it off, but he should be trying to take it off the army at this point. But now Bellerophon jumps in, picks off that uh, that catapult there. Another one making a slow but steady uh, a route towards this. But he should fall very, very fast as the uh, Bellerophon does not miss as the catapult is moving. Sometimes you can move your army to dodge a Bellerophon uh, jump attack, but the catapult is too slow. And a villager's moving forward. Trying to build more Ballister Tower up. He's even got a Pharaoh here as well. And this Town Center does get up for Adafang. So he's managed to hold on for the time being, which is huge. 
uh, and a gold colossus is out. Well, you don't want to be here with these priests. These priests do a lot of damage. He's probably got funeral rites out now, so they're doing huge amounts of damage to the colossus. Uh, it's just send the colossus elsewhere and force the priest to be elsewhere is, is kind of my opinion on the matter, but unfortunately he's chilling in this location. Uh, another catapult is out, but basically Artifact just needs to get out Bellroth on and he can defend against this indefinitely. And the longer the game goes on though, the stronger Magyar's army is going to get, because right now um, Artifact's army is at peak strength. He's got iron upgrades, he's got champion cavalry, uh, and, he's, and he's got gold colossus. But as this goes on, Magyar's going to get those iron upgrades out for his priest to deal with the, uh, the colossus and also uh, get those champion upgrades on his spearmen, get those upgrades for um, Greatest of 50 and, and uh, Spear of the Horizon, which give you bonus damage against cavalry and extra HP. And we do see some military academies finally coming down for Adafang now. This is going to be huge. If you can get out champion infantry and get those Merlin going, he should be able to continue him. And remember, he still has Underworld, so he can make... If he can defend against this for long enough and get a strong enough army with Myrmidon, he can just Underworld passage like this town center or this town center or even this town center to cut down on the trade route that they are trading a little bit inefficiently here. Um, doesn't, won't really matter, but it could, could go for the back town center or something. We see some Toxodes getting produced finally. Much better option than the Peltas, but they're going to be able to deal with the, uh, the Spearman here. And he does have those flyer arrows, so he can pick off these, uh, I'm not sure if it actually gives you a bonus against ships. Archer and hero damage versus buildings. Hero, Arcus, hero, turbo damage versus ships. Archer damage versus ships is 50%, so it does give a little bit more damage against these war barges, able to take it down very, very quickly. And Adafang is going to be out of gold though, which is the big issue. Trying to send villagers through to get to this large gold mine. Going to be running straight past Ballister Towers and Magyar is on top of it with the Spearman. And this is looking like it's going to be a bit of a gold star situation because Adafang has no trade route. He's completely boxed into the corner and Magyar is just going to strangle this, uh, this location for the time being. And uh, it's going to be very difficult for him to... It's a hold on in this situation. Just because no gold is no Colossus is no Bellerophon is no cha no no champion Hippogons, no Toxodes. He can trade. Um, he's getting roughly 64 gold for 100 food, or he's getting 64 gold and 71 um, 71 gold for the wood. So he can trade for the time being, but. Not doing it just yet. Villagers need to make their way over here, and 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 Adafang needs to change the 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 point that he is defending. He needs to move over here and wall this up, put some towers up or something, and and, and make a move over there. Uh, and Magyar's probably yeah, he's still really struggling to produce here. 145 pop to um, Adafang's 103 pop, but. Um, he's going to struggle really hard against these mercenary cavalry because they are strong. They are really strong. These are unnerved mercenary cavalry. And they, they train really fast and do a lot. But now we've got naval oxybiles here. He's going for the town center. He's going for the juggernauts. He's going to be attempting to take it down. But now Mad Gary is setting up the walls and we have no Belleroff on to jump the walls. This is going to be, uh, this town center is going to be falling very, very fast against the four catapult here, which only take three population. These are unnerved catapult as well. Really strong. Going to be able to take down this town center very fast. And that's going to be the game. GG, well played by Magyar, taking this first game. Like, set, set is one strong god in no patch, but so is Zeus. And I think... Had Adafang simply just got the Odysseus out at the start and then went for the second town center, he probably would have been able to defend against that early pressure and been able to get to the Mythic Age even faster and been able to do what he did even faster and possibly prevented all of this setup that Magyar had and maybe been able to do use his Underworld in order to take this, uh, take this game. But super well played, so we'll give Magyar his point. Uh, and uh, we'll continue with the next game shortly.